Have you ever wondered what's the difference between this point and shoot camera and this cinema camera? One of the biggest differences is the sensor size. In this video, we'll take a look at a wide variety of sensor types, the size of each, its native aspect ratio, as well as the crop factor and how it affects your field of view. First, we'll start with full frame sensors and why it's considered the standard measurement when determining crop factor. The term full frame is in reference to one slot of 35mm film. The full frame image sensor and a traditional slot of 35mm film share the same area in size. This was the most common format among professionals for many years, making it the default size in determining crop factors. For visual reference, We'll do a side-by-side -side comparison of a 35mm lens on a full-frame image sensor to a 35mm lens on a different size sensor. This will demonstrate how the crop factor affects each field of view and what becomes the equivalent focal length as a result. Micro Four Thirds cameras are typically the first cameras to use interchangeable lenses. They also use a specific lens mount, typically on Olympus or Panasonic lenses. With the 2x crop, you'll see micro four-third lenses with focal lengths like 12 to 35 millimeters, which is the equivalent to a 24 to 70 millimeter lens. One inch sensors aren't as common as the rest we'll be covering, but it's worth mentioning because you'll see these sensors in compact point and shoot cameras, as well as prosumer drones like the DJI Mavic Air 2S and the Phantom 4. The APS-C sensor size is mainly housed in small DSLRs and compact cameras. Generally, APS-C sensors are 25.1 by 16.7 millimeters in size, with a native aspect ratio of 3 by 2 and a crop factor of 1.5. There are many variations of the Super 35 sensor, but all are offsprings of the full frame 35mm image sensor. This is now the standard for modern day video cameras. Depending on the manufacturer, you'll see a 1.4 to 1.6 crop factor. VistaVision is a sensor type that was developed for widescreen use. Unlike most other types of sensors, the VistaVision sensor mimics 35mm film stock as if it was on its side so that the perforations are at the top and the bottom of the image, instead of on the left and right. This results in a 17 by 9 native aspect ratio. There are tons of options out there when it comes to sensor sizes, each carrying their own unique characteristics. However, you shouldn't discount a sensor's capabilities only based on its size. There are sensors small enough to fit in a drone that are capable of shooting a feature film. 